So you wanna start making coffee at home. Maybe you've gone down the rabbit hole of Coffee Talk and Coffee Gram, and you're like, I wanna do that. Well, you can, and it can save you money, be the start of a new morning routine, and it's a fun hobby to get into. You just need a few things to get you started, and I'm gonna lay it out for you right here. Quick side note, I'm not on the mindset that you need to buy the best, shiniest, newest product on the market. I'm not gonna overwhelm you with a bunch of different stats and technicalities. If you wanna deep dive into the coffee world, there's tons of pages for that. I'll link them below. I just wanna show you how to get started, so some options that get the job done both on the lower and higher end. And I'll tell you the secret that every single barista started with at the end of the video. All right, let's get into it. Roll the opening credits. I'm just kidding. I'm not cool enough to have opening credits. There are two things that will get you on track to making amazing coffee at home. Once you get these, the rest is icing, sprinkles, and cherry on top. The world becomes your oyster. First, a high quality burr grinder. That means none of the $20 Target and Amazon finds. That's like trying to watch a movie in 4K on a $20 TV screen not happening. The output of the coffee you get will only be as good as what it's going into. Two things to keep in mind when choosing a grinder that will affect your budget. Number one, do I want a grinder that does it all? From espresso to cold brew to pour over, grinders like these are usually on the higher end like the Malcona X54, the Niche Zero, Eureka Oro Mignon, but there's been a surge of quality grinders under $300 and some even less than $200 like the Barazza ESP, Fellow Opus, and the Turin SD40. That can do it all within a reason. Or do you want a good middle of the road grinder? Something that comes to mind is the Barazza Encore, which has good range, but not really for espresso. There's also middle of the road hand grinders like the Time War C2 or the Kin Grinder K2. Lots of letters and numbers, which leads into my next question. Do you wanna travel with your coffee setup? Hand grinders are known to give you that range at a lower price. I'm talking $150 to like $80, like the JX or JX Pro from Easy Presso. One suppresso? One zpresso. I don't know how to say it. Also, again, the Time Worn Kin Grinders. I'll link some videos if you want technical information, but I just wanna show you that coffee doesn't have to be too spendy, flashy, or pretentious. I just wanna point you in the right direction that fits your budget. So I'll have links for a bunch of grinders down below. Okay, so you've chosen your grinder. Next is obviously the brewer. You see, once you've decided on the grinder that fits your needs, like espresso, pour over, French press, travel, or not, then you can decide on what to brew with. For this video, we're gonna keep it simple and go with a pour over setup. Most people recommend the V60 or a French press, but as an alternative, I'm gonna suggest the Gem Dripper or the Clever Dripper. Here's why. Good coffee at home requires an understanding of technique, meaning how you pour, grind size, etc. But I wanna keep it simple, and with the Gem Dripper, all you have to do is pour directly down the center of the lid. And for the Clever Dripper, just fill it with water and let it steep. The coffee from these two brewers rival that of the V60 and French press in acidity, body, sweetness, and ease of use. If you want even more information or maybe more options of brewers to check out, make sure to head to my Instagram where I deep dive into a bunch of different brewers. Before we get to the secret, here are some honorable mentions and things that you could buy but aren't absolutely essential. First is a scale. I equate this to trying to bake cookies without measuring cups. Can you make a good chocolate chip cookie by eyeballing it? Sure. I'm sure that Joshua Wiseman or Sarah from Broma Bakery could, but can you accurately replicate that cookie every single time? No. No chance, but I love you, Joshua. On the higher end, you could get the Akaya or Barista scales, but if you just want something cheap, there's tons of options on Amazon, and I have options linked down in my Amazon storefront if you want it. Second, a gooseneck kettle. These are the kettles that kind of do a little... I feel like this is, I feel like I'm doing a good gooseneck. Probably a, as, as close as you'll get of a human representation of a gooseneck. These kettles help you have a more consistent and accurate pour. Great for brewers like Kalita, V60, but you don't need it. Brewers like the Clever Dripper, AeroPress, French Press, Triclet, Mocha Pot, those and so many others do not need it. So if you're not looking to deep dive into pour overs, you can hold off or you can get a cheap one for like $20 on Amazon. Again, storefront if you want it, just if you want it. Okay, now the moment that you've all been waiting for, the secret. What's the sauce, man? Tell me the recipe, the secret ingredient. The secret recipe for one Krabby Patty is... The secret that every single barista started with is ignorance. Okay, that sounds kind of harsh, but I mean it in the sense of simplicity. When I first fell in love with specialty coffee and bought my first pour over setup, first off, I was stoked, but I went as cheap as I possibly could and I used like one recipe for an entire year and I loved it. The truth is there's something beautiful about keeping things simple. Think about a kid or yourself as a kid. We always say, man, things used to be so much simpler back then. Back in my day. Well, I think it's because as we get older, we learn more and we tend to over 
overcomplicate the simple things in life that are meant to be beautiful just the way they are. Making coffee at home should be an escape, a moment of tranquility where you slow down, brew a good cup of coffee, and enjoy it. If you wanna learn more, we can. But let's not forget that there's beauty and simplicity. So step one, before you go load up your shopping cart, start by buying good coffee. I'll link some specialty coffee roaster subscriptions below, but even better, Google specialty coffee roaster near me, head over, buy a bag, maybe have them grind it at the shop, take it home and brew it. That will be the best cup of coffee because you made it, you supported a local business and you kept it simple. Okay, hopefully this video helped. If you have any questions, let me know. I love you guys. Thank you for watching this. Now I wanna go watch SpongeBob. So comment your favorite SpongeBob episode. Okay, love you, bye.